This video is sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment. We're playing Hearthstone again, as they've released a new solo adventure for the game called The Tombs of Terror. This is a single player adventure where the idea is you gradually build a deck of cards while defeating bosses of increasing difficulty, and they throw in a bunch of treasure cards that are unique to the adventure too. If you're new to Hearthstone, you don't actually need to own the cards already to be able to play this adventure. Uh, everything in the adventure is given to you, so it's quite inviting for new players or even those I haven't played in a while. The adventure also features dual class heroes where you combine cards from two classes into a single deck. There's also a new type of boss called Plague Lords, where the idea is they have a massive amount of health and you have to beat them over multiple playthroughs of the adventure. If you like what you see in this video, there's a link in the description below to check out the adventure for yourself. The first wing is available for free and you'll earn some packs for completing it. Lastly, just as an additional tidbit, Blizzard actually sent me a mystery box for this. This was honestly just something quite cool to receive in the post. They sent a signed message from, I'm sure who is the real life Reno Jackson, a bunch of actual exploring equipment that includes binoculars, a sextant of all things, rather old school camera, some pens with ink, and some Hearthstone swag. So thanks for that, Blizz. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and do please check out Tombs of Terror. Chapter unlocked, the lost city, and the Scorching Dunes. Jesus, we're making great progress already. Investigate the lost city of the Tolvir to put a stop to the plague of Murlocs. And we have the anomaly mode too, if you want to turn this on. At the start of every turn, deal one damage to all minions. We have a choice of heroes. These are dual class heroes that they use for this. Okay, we have to defeat bosses to unlock these. Uh, we're gonna go with Reno's lucky hat for now. We haven't unlocked any hero powers yet, but you defeat boss, you clear these conditions, you unlock more stuff. Because the idea is you replay this quite a few times over. Minions have invaded each deck. Twist Plague of Murlocs. Surprise Mur- What did I just draw? Summon a random amount of Murlocs, so you're telling me I got the least possible amount of Murlocs. Cool. Well, I feel great about that. Uh, that that's a good start. We have to give him the hat as well, or he's gonna die. To the anomaly. Okay, end turn. Oh my god, he's not gonna live long. But it's okay, because his guy isn't going to live long either. Is there any, is there even any point in me playing these guys? Because this guy's going to die at the end of my turn. And this guy will die by the time it gets back to my turn. Uh, let's just steal a weapon. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll get an unidentified mall. Oh, that's going to be great for my lack of minions next turn. Okay, great. That's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> At the end of your turn, summon a 1-1 one, one Murloc. But it's okay, because the anomaly just automatically kills it. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's get a let's get a spell. We got a combo hero power, so we're just gonna deal two to his face. And now the book's gonna die. This will summon a Murloc totem, but then it'll also die. This only has two health, so by the time it gets backed around to his next turn, it's dead already. So this anomaly is just completely clear on the board. If I play this guy, he'll actually live, like, a turn or two. Hopefully. Let's just pop him down, we'll, like, skillfully clear their minion off the board. And I think we've won. Just like that. So now you guys are gonna be able to start making decisions. Okay, Discs of Swiftness. Passive, your opponent must pass their first two turns. Passive, your minions have plus one health and taunt, or enemy minions have minus one attack. I think it's slightly favored for the disc. Okay. So they don't get their first two turns. I think it's secrets, honestly. Okay. Alright. There's... Do we have any secrets in our deck current? No. Alright. <laughs> well, we get... This will be like a four mana five five, so that's a great pick. Giving it a go. So, like, we still have actually nothing that can survive. I don't know actually why we picked this, because this even this will die. The anomaly is just going to, like, a board clear everything. So, like, we need to focus on building a deck that almost doesn't play minions. Oh, and there's it's also still just more murlocs in our deck. Summon a random amount of murlocs. Give us some. I feel like that's not a very random amount of murlocs. My board is now cleared. <laughs> it's just immediately gone. Oh, thank God he skips his first two turns. 
Uh, let me just draw a card. After your hero attacks someone, two, one, one silver hand recruits. That's gonna be great, considering that they all die at the end of the turn. Here's the turn eight late game play. Mana addict. This will actually live a turn. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. And I can combine it with the razor petal volley to actually do something. This this will be dead at the end of my next turn. But it's okay because this will soon be dead too. Okay. I can I can actually make sure this dies with me. So this this is perfect. And build up cards. There we go. It's not a very random amount of Murlocs, is it? I mean, I can do a sick wombo combo here. Aha! Now this will be dead at the end of your turn. It summons a random number between one and one. <laughs> Seems about right. Honestly. Okay, well, most of this board will be dead by the time it's his next turn. So this is this is great for us. We can play a six mana five five. That does not feel great. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, okay, we got an infest. Let's just destroy his board. Maybe you cast a spell, draw a minion from your deck. I mean, this won't die in one turn. Let's just pop you down. You, you'll take a while to die. It's oh, but no, he's really trying to get it. I don't know if that's a good thing, bud. Uh, oh, we win! Great. <laughs> Easy game. Oh no, he had a secret. Oh, woe is me, my board is ruined. If there's anything we've learned so far, it's like, the less minions we actually have, like, it seems to be better. Because everything is going to die anyway. Why do you want El- <laughs> This'll die. This'll also die. Oh, people are changing their tune now. They want honor. I don't know if honor is much better. <laughs> Though people are now saying, Sp you guys are so indecisive. <laughs> we started with people saying elements. We've gone to honor and now spells is in the majority. Straw pole. Yeah, let's, let's get a straw pole up. Though honor has just taken it over. Okay, well, we're going with honor then. So this is a turn two. It automatically dies. So we have a nice turn tree play here. So let's keep that, and we have a hat. I mean, with the mana addict, this might do something, and he misses his first two turns. Unfortunately, I have nothing I can do on my first turn. And now my turn to... It's not looking too good. But so this is almost dead, but with the hat we can make it live just a little longer. Discover a weapon. We just chip away at him gradually. Just like, like keep biting his ankles. So people want the dragon. We don't have enough. We don't have enough spells. We don't. Okay, all right. There you go. Okay, add a random minion to your hand. I, I need to get this down, I feel. But I also want to see what the babbling book is. Deal six damage to a minion. Oh my god. Okay, we can actually power this up a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Okay, we've almost got him down. And he's only summoned a single murloc once again. He's only summoned two single murlocs. Never getting lucky with that. Oh, I do have the petals, actually. So we could, we could get the combo off. I feel like I should just play this guy, though, because, like, if he lives even one turn, we... Like, we just win. Like, surely we just pop this big boy down. Need <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> you, do you guys desperately want to see a dragon before this first game? Like, well, this game is over. Just because we have it. Alright. Okay, well, we can get it in this turn. This works well. We just have to kill our guy with the backstab. Look at that. We did it, guys. Now we can win. There are several options here, but based on the name alone of the first one, I feel I know which one is going to win here. <laughs> Draw a two, three, four, and five cost card for your deck. Like, that's actually amazing. 
That's like draw the perfect curve. But no, that you all want the gnomes. Uh, we get a Frostlitz Jaina if we don't want to play as Reno. We have the old god we can get soon. Okay, yeah, I. All right. Reno's going in a very weird direction. Uh, a little in. I can recruit some help here. I feel like we're having an identity crisis with this deck. Reno doesn't know what he wants to be. He's currently like a, both a rogue and a mage. You can't do that in World of Warcraft. That's illegal. It is good to see a friendly face. Gassoon is on the table too, so we might be able to do something with him. Discover a weapon from any class, add to your adventure deck with plus two, plus two. Discover a spell, add it. Always starts in your hand. Choose a minion to remove. Choose an enemy minion and add it to your deck. Guess you, sir. Okay, Ysera's joining the gang. This is gonna be a heavy costed deck. Remove Kasoon to display dominance. <laughs> Guys, we can't we, we what like what's the point then? Okay, you all you all want the spell, so let's have a study break. To learn from that story. So this spell always starts in our hand, so we can have the five cost spell assassinate turn one, power creation turn one, or effigy turn one. All of these are terrible for our first turn. You all want the Okay, we have an 8 cost card that now starts in our opening hand. Great. Do we have to do a straw poll to like, maintain the best card in our deck? Because so many people want him gone. Oh, it's actually massively favorable for the book. It's just a couple of memers for Cthulhu. Okay, you guys actually don't want to see the world burn. Okay, well, there goes the book. <laughs> oh dear, RT is book burn. <laughs> Look, it was either book burden or keep the cult in order, guys, okay? Have to do what we think is right. And look at look at this open in hand. We have power of creation and like a thing that will die and a turn 10 play. Can't use any of this. I still can't use any of this. Great. But it's okay, because he doesn't get his first two turns. And we might get a Murloc. So the game plan currently is turn four, cosmic anomaly deal four damage to his undamaged minion that hopefully isn't hurt. Until then, we're just gonna hero power literally every turn. Pop down a counter spell. Thank God this has the reborn effect and comes back to life. Oh, and thank God we countered his reform scheme that summons three 1-1 one -one imps. God forbid we left three 1-1 one -one imps on the board. That would die at the end of the turn anyway. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Okay, we have no obliterator. We'll save that to like finish him off with. We hold we hold on to this card for now. That's the finisher. No myth. <laughs> oh, we actually got two Murlocs there. Well, thank god all this is gonna die by the end of his turn. Okay, give us something good. That that'll also die. We need to get it as much damage as we can. Before then, and then this is like a two mana pyroblast. He's gonna summon a copy of a 2 2 minion that will then die um, at the end of my turn. So, doesn't do anything. Okay, this guy's just gonna get one big swing off and then everything dies. So, let's unstable portal. Summon a 1 1 locust with rush. That, that doesn't. Well, actually, I mean, it does kind of help. Because now we can maintain the damage on his face. We're getting ready for the gnome. We're getting there. This will die at the end of his turn, so that's great. That's not so great, but okay. We might as well play the burglar. Our deck is actually very heavily costed that this might be the best pick. Just gnome him already. Okay, dark bomb, that's fine. Bolt this and the minion it spawns will be dead before they can accomplish anything, so that's fine. Play a big boy so we can set up the no. I, I, we, we can kill him next turn. Oh, if he didn't do that. Well, it was an attempt. Um, I can pop down you, Sarah. I get. Wait, do I win? If we draw, if we draw high enough, then we win. Okay, we're, we're gonna gnome him. We just need a forecast. Come on. Job's done. <laughs> Our deck is so heavily costed too. Okay. Well. Um. 
Oh, it actually gave us two murlocs for once. You can kill him with the murloc. So we have heroically empowered. We have battle cries with two baristas and a raven that just add more, that just clone each other. Or honor among thieves. We don't have more of the Cthulhu package, unfortunately. Battle cry for more Cthulhu. <laughs> No, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> we don't have the Cthulhu plays in our deck right now, but that's okay. We can copy them and we can get more. And we're against a literal sinkhole now. Let's go. Is this a good? Is this a good early game play? Cards to keep. I, I, I don't even know because our deck is so heavily cost it. Pilfer, please give us a card that actually helps us win the game. At the end of your turn, give all means in your hand plus one plus one. Uh, I mean, that'll help him live slightly longer. Do the gnome. It's too soon for the gnome. <laughs> That's not very helpful. Spell Slinger, you'll actually live a turn. Summon your beast that died this turn. Thank God we've got the beast synergy package. <laughs> gnome. <laughs> we just keep screaming it. I mean, I could do a bit of a wombo combo here with the Apprentice. I think I want to just get this guy down. Because the sooner this guy is down, like, the better. It means that stuff in my hand can actually survive a little while. Let's just get him down. So, like, even, like, these guys are going to live longer. Like, the Keysmith will actually leave it, live a turn. And I can buff this guy so that he sticks around longer. Okay, uh, this is actually really good. So, lucky hat on this guy. Razor pedals. Deal tree damage. We summon a murloc. We summon an additional murloc. Bolt die at the end of the turn. All according to plan. Discover a weapon. Let's just take a gore howl. We'll use that on his face later. And we're going to set up the counter spell just in case he has an answer for the Grime Street Enforcer. So things are going to start dying, unfortunately. Revenge of the Wild, I feel, is not going to help me in this scenario. Yeah, I think we honestly just try and go face, and I'm gonna just preserve this damage here. Get in as much as I possibly can. Sure. I need as much damage as I can, so that the gnome how, the gnome how, the gnome obliterator gore how combo will kill him. This is the most damage we'll get with gnome obliterator, so let's go. He's been gnomed. Ever change an elixir. At the start of your turn, transform a friendly minion into one that costs one more. Robes of Diminishing. After you draw a spell, reduce its cost to zero this turn. Scroll of Nonsense. Passive spell damage plus 10. At the end of your turn, this loses one spell damage. Again, thank you to Blizzard for leaving me at the mercy of my chat. So passive spell damage plus 10. <laughs> All right, people want spells, okay. So add all enemy minions to your adventure deck. They cost one less. Take the crocket. Uh, this is terrible. This is this is so bad. Oh look, we have a curve for four mana and five mana. So we just pass our first three turns. Our first two turns now. He's not gonna be able to do anything. We have time. Unfortunately, we are also not able to do anything. Another Murloc. That'll also die. Great. <laughs> Oh, wow, he's actually going to clear this thing. I mean, I just need him to hit his face a lot. And his max is terrible, apparently, because he didn't realize the anomaly would kill that anyway. I want to discover a spell from another class, I think. Okay. <laughs> Destroy tree of your mana crystals. Give all minions in your deck plus two plus two. Okay, right. Yep, chat's already spoken on this. Here we go. Oh, no, we're gonna have to re rely on the anomaly a lot here, just to keep our face safe. Because we're gonna be taking a lot of damage. Yeah, so most of this is gonna die by the time it gets around to his turn. The Gnome Obliterator does 16 currently. We we have to surrender to Madness now. <laughs> oh, God. Gnome him. No, we had to get it in while we could. Oh no, and he killed our thing. Gnome will decrease in power. I'm fully aware, but like, 
It's either that or we die. I need to kill this and I can't gnome it. I have to do this. Gnome him. The gnome, the gnome. Oh no, he's just getting more stuff. Here we go. There's a gnome. Let's just clear his board with the anomaly. Uh, that was a, that was a good passive. I mean, backstab's still actually quite handy, but he's just not gonna play. Actually, no, backstab's useless because everything is always damaged. What am I talking about? Everything is always hurt slightly because of the anomaly. Th this is this is pointless. Dab, I can go infinite barista eventually. That's what we're gonna have to build up towards, I think. Store five, deal five damage, restore two health. I, you know, I kind of need to catch up on the mana. <laughs> ah, great. It's dead. Oh, no. Wait. It's okay, because it still all dies anyway, thanks to the anomaly. I have more cards in my deck than he is in his, so... You know, maybe that's just how we win this. He already has eight cards in his hand, too. I don't know why he played that. So pretty much... Uh, yeah, his entire board will be cleared in a moment, so that's fine. We just need to not run out of HP. Oh, and this is actually buffing the Murlocs. Oh, wait, we can get the combo going. Hang on. Give me more Murlocs. My hand's full. Okay. Uh, we could, we could afford the burn one card. I'm sure there won't be many consequences for that. I can just get even more Murlocs next turn with the Barista, and the Barista will actually generate a new Barista. Unless he kills it here. Please, please, please don't kill it here. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, and because of the anomaly. Okay. Oh, my lucky hat. <laughs> Let's just pop down Antonidas. And try and keep him alive best we can. Have a backstab. I think here we should honestly use it just on Antonidas. It's a wild plan, but it might just work. That's unfortunate. Okay, we, we can start fireball and stuff down. I'm not too worried. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, at least the madness plan is starting to pay off. Because we're getting all the higher cost cards. It would be so much easier if our deck wasn't full of absolute garbage. <laughs> There's no synergy with anything. I, I need to see here if one of these secrets will trigger when I attack face. Great. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was not so bad. I, I, I need to pop the mana addict down now. All of this wasted potential attack. But his board's dead. What, what kind of fatigue am I think? To actually get the win this game. Okay. Thanks again to Blizzard Entertainment for sponsoring this video. If you like what you see in this video, there's a link in the description below. Also, if anyone actually knows how to use a sextant, um, that would be greatly appreciated. I, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing.